Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. It's time for some more Shadow Kings 2. I'm Emilio Skelvin, where we are executing plan Eternal Fire. And I specifically decided to cut the episode there, so that way I would be able to host a poll and decide uh, what my viewers wanted to see. And you guys, at a staggering 81%, want me to start praising the flames, rather than that dude who throws lightning bolts that we're currently worshipping. No, nobody really cares about Zeus these days. He's so, you know, out of, uh, out of fashion. Gotta get with the times, you know? And besides, these guys are almost lost. Good. It's actually kind of impressive how much we've managed to reinforce this. All right. So, parts of Hava. For Dihistan. That's all I got, actually. That's a problem, isn't it? I didn't really consider it, but I do actually need to claim. If I am to acquire that province. Germany has recently been rebuilt and renovated the Circus Maximus. Family held in the days of old. Hmm. Presumably, if I have a look around here. Hmm. I don't see a Circus Maximus thing, but... I suppose it's something. Alright. Both are acting like quabbling children. Alright. So we'll have to get the claim first, but luckily the odds of that are... Pretty favorable for us, I'd say. Yeah. Pretty much 20% per year. Alright. I can't. I cannot justify that. 1400 gold. Just no. I'm afraid I can't justify it. All right. Yeah, we uh we've got a lot of troops, man. But the old pike and shot tactic will work well enough, I suppose. All right. Well, I do kind of need to try and improve light infantry as well, since we have a decent number of archers. And I see we're about ready to go to uh, legalism five. Unmarried heir. Oh yeah, he will work miracles in my court. Hmm. Well, that didn't take long at all, now did it? Alright. Uh, yeah, our wife died. I was like, why do I suddenly have too many provinces? Nope, that's why. Okay. Hmm. I would... But I'm afraid not. Alright, carry on. Oh, hey, another province. I probably should... No, actually, I have a claim on it, so no one will object. Carry on. Good. So, we're gonna march into Parthava. Take this province. Since it is Zoroastrian. Look, I'm not going to worry about our mares. Again. Uh, the mortality crisis finally was resolved before, but it will appear to continue. Hmm. Alright, yeah, that's fine. Okay, if we're actually going to be going into combat here, get some commanders, shall we? Oh, it's bad enough I do sieges without those, but, uh. You know, 
Can't let my la laziness totally rule over me here. Stabby, stabby. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Excellent technologies. Presumably, yeah. We can get a little more out of them. Oof. 99, 100. Good. So, with that claim, I'm actually going to make this my capital. Which... Give me the ability to convert to the local religion of Zoroastrian. I'm sure this won't cause any problems at all. Ooh. 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 Nice. Gonna straight up take a concubine. Nice. Lots of good stuff here. But more importantly, we're gonna have to get to work. And just about immediately demand the religious conversion of everybody. What a little money is for, right? You're a child. So I'm still going to need some support from among my vassals. In this... The hip... You don't like me enough, I take it? Very well. Mm -hmm. At least, you know, basic support. I don't need too much, but to start us off with anyway. In particular, it's going to be the kings who I am most concerned for. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we'll call that for what it is. Oh, and while we're at it, let's see. Uh, where's the button? Distribute all holdings. Ding. That just pops us back over to our territory. Which sect of Zoroastrianism do you support? Mm, the Orthodox sect. Ooh, plus five vassal opinions, pretty good. Marshal three, learning three. Ooh, also good. Saya vanishest. Hmm. Interesting. So. Opposite trade opinion plus 10. Mm. I think we have to go orthodox. Mazdist. Mazdist. Orthodox worship with primordial twin gods. That's good bonus, though. No, we, we need the vassal opinion, so it shall be kept. You guys get home. We got somebody. We got some people. It's a start. Alright. It's going to make things... Less than ideal, then. Send here. All right. Good. All right, you're a child. <laughs> Demand. I mean, if, if even if on the first pass we didn't get them, some of them will come on the second pass. 
Assuming, you know, we have enough relations to continue trying, because I think it's, there's a penalty, right? Hmm. Does not appear to be, strangely enough. So that just means we have to keep spamming it. That does mean, at least for a little while, there's the potential for the factions to be dangerous. Good. Also, that said, we're going to need new holy men in our court. Notably, I'll have to use this on occasion. Because for a year, that extra morale in the right, uh, right situation could make a world of difference. Uh, be gone. Also be gone. 19. Excellent. I'll take it. Alright. This also simultaneously makes me think I need to swap back to religious intolerance. But... Yeah, you know what I do. Now, I'm going to continue on my policy of trying to convert the realm, uh, rather than, uh, with peace and words, rather than, you know, revoking a lot of titles. Because then we start having a lot of problems. Everyone has been granted, you know, their vice royalty by me. So just about everyone, you know, has pretty favorable opinions of me. So it's not too hard. Right. Good. To start, we're slowly gaining support. Mm -hmm. Come on, everyone else is doing it. You're literally surrounded by hair by these so-called heathens you hate. Hmm. I mean, the independence faction has all been but dissolved at this point. And, I mean, looks like this conversion will go through quite peacefully. Which is always lovely. Of course, I suppose it's not quite over yet. It'll take at least a few generations for the conversion to fully sink. And take root, but we're getting there. I feel like I should expel the immortals. Very impious thing to do. Do I care for a thousand piety? <laughs> right? Like, we'll see. Mm, man. Build time minus point two. And if I get one of these good ones here, we ended up with like, you know, minus 45. Yeah, you know, we can get build time reduced to like one third. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's not helpful. Alright. Well, on the plus side, uh no. Yeah, let's let's go legalism five. I think we need tolerance next though. Austere seems to do we want to claim anywhere? Because I happen to have one. Uh no, I think we can let this one go. I think that's fine. There. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Others are going to have to convert as well underneath their uh, current lieges, and none of them are going to like them anywhere near as much, so. God knows it'll take a while. 
I'll have at least a little more access when the kings die, which will allow me to sort of start changing things. Gotta change with the times, everybody. Come on now. <sighs> Alright, well, so far so good. I think, anyway. Hmm. Pick an ambition. Do I need one? Hmm. Follow truth. Well, that would actually probably solve my issue. Eating good food for plus one diplomacy. No? Damn. We'll try. Try our best. So, you, you need to convert. You're still a child. Many of the counts as well here will need conversion. pretty certain this is not how it's supposed to work, especially since I just demanded his religious conversion twice. Yeah, it tried to convert me. So, I think this is kind of broken. It's rather unfortunate. I suppose it's not supposed to be this easy, huh? Yeah, those three in the south continue to resist. Demand religious conversion. Come on, guys. Join the Zoroastrian party. Alright, well, the count's all converted. You're inbred and zealous, so... Hmm. You pay for what is lost. Apparently we're having some event picture problems. You know what? We'll just have to wait for you to die, I think. You don't like me. You don't like me. You don't like me. People are very resistant to this conversion. But, as time goes on, it will be easier. Collect some taxes, will you? Good. Alright, so we need to get our tolerance level up as much as possible. Okay, good. Random subjects being converted is also very helpful. I doubt we are going to have much progress for a little while. Then we need to consider the retaking of our holy sites, I'm afraid. There's one very conveniently in Bactria, which I was hoping to grab anyway. So, it's a good place as any to start. If we can manage such, which I think we can. Because we have 48,000 now, combined. Hmm. Exumite, Holy War. And some minor revolt. Alright. I mean, now is it would be the time to attack the Persian Empire. Ugh. I have to figure out. Okay, Duchy of Kiev, Cherson. No, so I'm just still one over my limit. Alright. Convert already. I mean, we've already converted a decent chunk of the realm, so it's a good start. Why? It's 
probably it's probably these guys I mean now that we're Zoroastrian we just can't afford to keep them like fully you know reinforced so it's a good place to start religious tensions it happens And no one ever said that the Hypsisterians would go quietly into the night, did they? Hmm. Now the real problem is going to be finding these revolts, because they could literally be anywhere. <laughs> like... There they are. Good. So like I said, though, now is not the time to hit the Persians. Mm-hmm. We need to do our best to try and demand religious conversion on whomever we can. Wherever. Oh, I can't while at war. Noted. Okay. And consider it ours. Hmm. Can no longer be ignored. No, the Exart is clearly in the right. Alright. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's get them down here. We're going to want to make the move. Because we're going to have to take the rest of Bactria now. It's time. We praise the fire. And we're going to go reclamate a holy site or two, shall we? I mean, this one over here is still technically under control of, you know, a Zoroastrian. They've been trying really hard, but they can't quite get rid of them all. And now, well, there's a lot new. Oh, hello. It appears the Uggir has also had succession. So. Ahem. I'll be taking that back. You're free to get a fuckload of event troops and invade me. I'm actually kind of okay with that. Not really, but I don't really have a choice on that, so. Alright, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, I can totally hire the immortals too, can't I? Man, you guys suck. That's all you've got? Also, why do they cost... Oh yeah, these are Manichians, aren't they? So, they would cost... Well, either way, we'll have to blow them up, kill them all, all that jazz. Our retinue can probably deal a decent amount of damage while uh, the army gets there. And then hopefully after that, we'll be able to attack the Persian Empire. But for now, I have been your lovely, lovely host, Gilvin, and I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Man, India. I can't tell what's going to happen here. Somebody might eventually someday win out, though. And maybe we'll see United India. God knows. We've seen a lot of empires building in a lot of places, and then just complete chaos in the north. I don't even want to touch that area. It's so filthy. Ugh. Thank you everybody for watching. I've been your lovely host, Gilvin. Signing off.